so many of the drummers I know are used to being the de facto leader of a band because we control so many things, the dynamics, the tempo, the forward motion, if the piece feels relaxed or if it feels intense. I was born in Medford, Massachusetts, and my father plays saxophone and drums, and my grandfather was a drummer as well. It just kind of runs in the blood. I think I started playing the drums because they were there. I was exposed to them at a young age, and my father had them set up, so I was curious about them. When Clark Terry heard me, he offered me to go to Wichita, Kansas, and that was my first professional gig at 10 years old. I attended Berkeley College of Music when I was 11 years old, part-time, until I graduated from high school. When I first got to New York, a lot of my work really came from people that were you know, old enough to be my father or my grandfather. And it took a while, I think, for me to start playing more with people of my own generation. And then at 21, I auditioned for Wayne Shorter's group and miraculously got that job. It was a breakthrough moment for me. Then when I moved to L.A. in 1989, I got the Arsenio Hall show, and that was another breakthrough in a different way. I had to leave the show because I had an album out. I had to make a choice from supporting the album, which was nominated for a Grammy, or staying on the show. My debut, Real Life Story, proved to be very successful. So again, the universe tends to unfold as it should. Producing music. It's just a place that I love to be, creating something from nothing. And so different from live performance. And I feel like if I were to compare it to filmmaking, you know, I feel like a director. I was the first woman to win a Grammy in the jazz instrumental category. And I was also the first woman to be nominated. One of the problems with gender equity is that women end up playing together and helping and encouraging one another because they don't have mentoring from people that have made it. And so they end up playing together and then you're at pigeonholes, you know, as a woman musician. And so those are some of the things that need to change. As a teacher at Berklee College of Music, I ended up mentoring many more men than women. That's what led me to start an institute at the college that created a space for young women. I do think we're moving in the right direction. There are more women students, there are more women teachers, and there are more male students and male teachers that are concerned with this issue, and that's the most important thing to me. You have to persevere in this industry and figure out ways to keep moving around and through obstacles. And the important lesson for me is that once I invested in myself, my career took off again.